Welcome to AGB TV. It's your boy Leo Jones, and we back, baby. Who's next? Share this live. We gonna get this popping in a second. We in the AGB TV studio. We building up. We getting stuff ready for you guys. We about to put this work in. You heard me. Welcome us back. Love me like you miss me. <laughs> oh man. We was gonna do our free smoke session today, but we gonna call it smoke free because my man couldn't make it today. So we gonna call this smoke free just for the night. When he can make it, y'all gonna love him, Bully World. Real funny dude. Share this live. Share it, share it, share it. What's poppin', James, man? We gonna talk about your show in a minute, baby. We gonna be out there going ham. Ham in Ohio. You heard me? March 10th, man. Shout out to, shout out to James Cosby, man. March 10th, we in the building. AGB TV in the building. Share this live. I need this live on every group. Hater group, favorite group, best friends group, baby mama page, all that. What's goody, Gregory, man? What's popping with you? Oh, kennel partner, AGB, Brian in the building. Man, share this live to everything, man. We're going to start it in a few minutes. I had some technical difficulties earlier. I couldn't start at exactly 9.30. I apologize because I respect everybody's time. Everybody's time. I respect it. We're going to get into it today. Man, if you have a friend, if you have a friend that wants to be a breeder and you're a breeder, share this to his page. You feel me? This is going to be some information that's for y'all. Information for the people that ain't been breeding for a long time, but they're thinking about getting into it. You want this information. Come on, Callie. Chill. That's Callie in the background. Two-time Roach Blood. Off my boy Kimbo. Shout out to my kennel partner, Patrick, in Louisiana. Hit him up. Kimbo Slice. Nasty. Open for studs. Oh, who's up in here with us? Who's up in here with us? Talk to me, fellas. Talk to me. Share this live. We need to be on everything. We need to be on everything. Every board. All your friends. I'm going to share it one time. Just because I told this group I was going to put it in there. I was going to go live from Debatable just because this is some Debatable type shit, I guess. What's going on? What's going on? What's popping, Roberto? Yo, you lucky I don't put you on here today. I, I got me jaying on you, Rob. Jaying. But you won, so I ain't going to put it out there like you be doing. Snapchat king over there. Snapchat king. We're going to wait a few more minutes, man. We're going to wait a few more minutes. Let some more people jump into the live. Share this live. Share it. Put it on everybody's page. Yo, get blocked today. If you get blocked for sharing this live today, I'm going to send you everything I got on. AGB TV shirt. You're going to even get the Leo Jones one. The Leo Jones edition. You'll be the only one with it. I won't even get it again. Feel me? I'll send you some gear. Share this live. Get blocked. <laughs> What's poppin', Lewis? What's poppin', Fernando? Share this live, baby. Yo, James, we out there. You're going to see us in a little bit. We working. That's how you... We working. Callie, Callie. She jealous, man. She, she hate not being on the camera with me. I might pull her out throw on the table for y'all towards the end of this live. But we got to get into this business. Share this live. If you're a breeder, if you're a breeder and you got a friend trying to get into this game, and you try to explain to them a bunch of times, they're like, look, man, this ain't something you want to get into if you're just trying to make money. This ain't something you're trying to get into if you don't really like these dogs. Tell them, watch this, because we're going to talk about some stuff on how to get to these productions. You think you want to be a breeder. What's going on, Justin? What's good, Ivan? AGB TV, we back, baby. Putting that work in. Y'all see it? Putting that work in. All right, man. Let's turn this down real quick. So, before we get into any part of the show, I want to first talk about this fight that happened at the dog show over this weekend. Now, I'm sitting here and I'm watching this, and I'm, 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 all I could think about is, I used to come to these shows with my family, my kids, my grandma, my moms, my sister, everybody used to come to the shows with me. And 
through the progression of me being a breeder and going to these shows, I see less and less people bringing their families. And what happened at that dog show is a prime example on why this is happening. You see what I'm saying? People don't want their kids to be around that. People don't want their loved ones to be around that. Because God forbid a kid would have gotten into the middle of that. Now you got a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to happen because of that. Not to mention whoever's kid that is, they family going to get into it because they kid then got trampled. You feel me? Now they family going get, to get involved in DCF. That's what we have out here, Department of Children and Families in Connecticut. That's what we have out here. So whatever you have and you're part of the country, that's going to get involved in it because your child just got hurt at a dog show. That's the wrong move. All the people that recorded it and put it on YouTube, if you're a real lover and follower of this breed, that need to come down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to show it, and I was going to even drop it in my uh, comments below, but I decided against it because I'm not trying to promote that. That's not something that I'm trying to promote. You know what I'm saying? It's already bad enough that our dogs and the people that breed these dogs are looked at as criminals, felons. Drug dealers. We labeled everything before they even know people. Me, I, I'm a counselor. That's what I do. That's my full time job. I'm a counselor. But if you catch me at the dog show, and then you catch me outside the dog show, I'm dressed in my attire. I'm with my dogs. Most of the people that's gonna see me or talk to me is gonna, oh, he's a criminal. Oh, he's a drug dealer. Oh, he's this. And we already we're reciprocating what these people think by doing that type of thing and posting it up for everybody to see it. I bet you right now, I, I put. I would put everything that I have on. If the AKC had a dog fight at their dog show, if people broke out fighting at that dog show, no one's seeing it. They confiscating phones, all that. Maybe that's what we need to start doing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. I just wanted to put that out there and let everybody know that that's how we stand over here at AGB TV on that feeling. We all straight positive. None of that fake positivity. None of that fake love. This is all 100. Genuine. Now, let's get into my boy Mike Diego. Home had a, a stack off over the weekend. It was crazy. The San Diego home team bully stack off. We're going to queue up some video just so you can check that out. Uh, I thought it was real dope. I think what Mike Diego is doing out in San Diego is super duper dope. And uh, I just want you guys to see it. Cue that up for me. Cue that up for me. Mike Diego's stack off. While they queuing this up for us, we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to just talk about it a little bit. I thought it was real dope. Like I said, Mike Diego is doing some wonderful things out there. Shout out to my boy Mike Diego because I didn't know that your last name matched where you at. That's dope. So, you see Mike Diego home with Pacino hat on, respect it. Look, 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 that's my smoke free section. That's my smoke free section. At 1023, 1020 something, Mike Diego heard, that girl don't want none of this. Ooh, give me back girl, give me back girl. Yo, Mike, come on, man. We need to, we need to, we need to patent that right there. See, even Smack, I'm getting sick of hearing Smack, Smack's, um, anonyms on URL. We need to sell that right there. That, ooh, we need to sell that straight to them. You know what I mean? Let's play some more of this, let's play some more of this San Diego stack off. Look, Mike, give me back, girl. Give me back, girl. My guy, Mike. Let me know if y'all can hear it. Thumbs up if you can hear that. I'm going to turn it up for you a little bit. My boy Mike. Yo, shout out to uh, Mike and shout out to San Diego, man. That's doing something real big, real big for the community, real big for your area, man. Big up to you. I can't wait for us to throw our joint meet and greet over the summer. That's going to be bananas. We're going to have to have a little friendly competition between me and you, you know, but we'll talk on the jack. We'll talk about that later. But um, seen a bunch of dogs in his stack off. That girl was dope. I remember uh, Bada Bing. Not Bada Bing. Um, what's the name of the bully? This right there. Where he at? Where he at? This boy right here. Boy, that boy. Nice, man. Bulgar Bullies. Jigolo. Home hard. Yeah, you know I mean? All right, we can cut that footage. Now, this is where, this is where the smoke-free section was going to go. But for now, we're going to call it 
free smoke. We gonna call it smoke free. Now my boy Dean, my boy Dean was uh was on Instagram. My boy Dean was on Instagram. And I called my boy up today and I said, yo, Dean, man, I got you in my in my smoke free section of the uh bully community today. And the only reason I'm doing this, honestly, the only reason I'm doing this for the bully community is because we need some more humor, man. Like, everybody is taking this way too seriously. Like, these is dogs, man. We're supposed to be having fun. It's a hobby, but let's be real, you know, we spend mad money, so we want to make money. But it's a hobby that we take it way too seriously, man. We go to these dog shows, all of this fake love, dapping it up, bro, bro this, bro that, all of this, yada, 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 whatever. Let's get back to having fun, and I think we can make we, we can make this we can take these dogs to the mainstream, and that's what we want to do. We want to get our dogs in the mainstream, cause let's be real and let's be clear. American bullies ain't going nowhere. Exotic bullies ain't going nowhere. Everybody, we all here to stay. So let's just keep this popping. But let's cue up Dean, my boy Dean. Now y'all have to know that my boy Dean is West Indian. We're gonna say that right off the bat. He's West Indian. And he should have, he had no business doing this right here. My boy Dean, check him out, check him out. Look, look, look at my boy Dean. Uh, killing it. Kill, yo, Dean, you West Indian Dean. That's not what it looked like. That's not what it looked like. Cue it up. This is what it looks like, Dean. We're we going to cue this up real quick for you. This is what it looks like. Next, when I come down to Miami, this is what we're going to do when we go to the club, all right? We're going to do this. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, stop it, stop it. Bring it back to Dean. Dean, see, look, this is how you kill it, Dean. This is how you kill it. We're going to bring it back to Dean real quick, real quick. Bring it right back to Dean. But that, he killing it. Safari killing it. We having some technical difficulties here. But we're going we, we gonna to bring it back to Dean. We're going to bring it back to you. We ain't forget about you. You my guy. You my guy. While he queuing that up, we gonna big up Dean. Uh, we're gonna be going down to Miami, South Beach, June 16th. The Fling Bling 3 in Miami is gonna be bananas. It's gonna be something that you don't wanna miss. Can we get Dean back on the screen? Oh, oh. We having some technical difficulties. That's okay. That's okay. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen, seen him. And, and, and that's not and that's not what the West Indians do. You know what I'm saying? Slow with it right now. That's not what the West Indians do. They do it like Safari did it. So that's just a little bit of humor. You know what I'm saying? All love. We're gonna be down there at the Miami, the Miami show, the AR, uh, ABR, South Beach, Fling Bling, June 16th. 2018, we're gonna be there. AGB TV will be in the building. You can't come holla at me. You can't come sit down, talk to me. We can't talk about dogs. Now, into the topic of the day. So you want to be a breeder, okay? You really wanna be a breeder. So let's talk about this real quick. I have a lot of experience in what I've been doing. And the reason I have a lot of experience is because I'm the type of person that gets into things and like to do it the way it's supposed to be done. It doesn't matter if, if I got $200 dogs or $200,000 dogs. If I'm breeding my $200 dogs, I'm gonna do it the way it's supposed to be done in my eyes. I guess everybody, every breeder is different, but in my eyes, I'm gonna give you my opinions on how these things should be done. I'm gonna give you facts on what I did and facts on other research that other people did. I've talked to vets, I've talked to breeders, and I did it myself, guys. You see what I'm saying? So the first thing we're going to get into is blood work versus physical signs. Now, I got a boy, and he loves the physical signs of the dogs. He's saying, man, he's flagging. You know what I'm saying? Man, my dog don't act like that. She's sleeping more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she eating more. A lot of people have different... You know your dog. So if your dog starts to do a little bit of different things, you might call out a sign. Definitely flagging is the major sign that most breeders that don't like to do blood work they, they focus on the flagging side of it. Now, blood work in the bully community, we call that progesterone testing. That's what we call it. Uh, but it's called blood work. Progesterone is one way to do blood work. You can also do a vaginal, a vaginal smear. We also call that a, a smear. 
and I'm going to explain what both of these things are. Progesterone testing is, is a hormone that's in the dog's, not a, it's a hormone, progesterone is a hormone that's in the dog's blood that they test to find out if she's ovulated or if she's in heat, right? So when she makes it to the number five, she's ovulated. She has to be climbing, constantly climbing for you to know she's in heat. Um, usually, usually the blood work takes a day. So you'll go into the vet, you'll spend your money, you'll go into the vet, and they'll tell you the next day what her level was the day before. There's some vets that will tell you the same day. This can cost anywhere from $50 to $125. Dogs usually ovulate at five, like I said, and it takes from 48 hours to 72 hours for those, for those uh, eggs to be fertile. It takes 48 hours to 72 hours for those eggs to be fertile. Uh, now, the vaginal smear, the smear that can happen when, when you take your dog to the vet is a little bit cheaper than a progesterone test. But a smear is when the, the, the vet takes uh, some blood from the vaginal canal of your dog and puts it on a microscope slide. He slides it under the microscope, and what he's checking for in the smear is to see if the, the blood cells are crystallized. Because what happens when a dog is getting close to being fertile is the blood cells start to get jagged around the edges. When you reach about 70%, you really want to bring your dog to the vet. Quiet, Kevin. You really want to bring your dog. Man, give me one second, fellas. I'm sorry, guys. AGB TV is interrupted for a quick second. We got to get Callie out of the uh, crate. He doesn't want to be in the crate. The studio, man. That's what happens when you breed dogs. You have them in the studio and they make a lot of noise. Now back to this smear. The blood cells get crystallized when they're about, and when you get about 70% of them crystallized and jagged around the edges, you really wanna start progesterone testing. I'm a big believer in blood work, progesterone testing. Uh, I don't think that you should be just judging your dogs based off of flagging. If you're breeding bullies, if you're breeding English bulldogs, if you're breeding Frenchies, pretty much if you're breeding a purebred dog, you want your dog to take. You don't want to be guessing. So you want to definitely do the blood work. Like I said, progesterone tests can go from $50 to $125. A smear, very cheap, from $35, $35 to maybe $75 bucks is the most you should be playing for a smear. Uh, now, I've done a lot of blood work. I've done so much blood work in my life. I can tell you that I've done blood work on multiple breedings. Pretty much every breeding I've ever done, I've done blood work. When I first started breeding dogs, my very first breeding, Princess the King Gotti, I think I did seven progesterone tests. And at the time, the progesterone test was about $95. And I think I did seven of them. Um, my female didn't take. Um, I also did all the other steps that I'm about to talk about too. And she still didn't take. But I'm still a big believer in blood work. I would rather go off of the progesterone levels of a dog than going off if I rub her butt and she flags. That's just me. Especially when you're spending money. You pay 15 plus for the female, you paying 15 plus for the stud fee unless you're getting the pup back, which you, everybody knows I don't, you know, pup backs. You might as well keep your, keep your puppy and spend your money. Because if the breeding is worth it, the puppy's going to be worth more than a pup back deal anyway. So let's jump into natural tie versus AI. Now, if you don't know what a natural tie is, you shouldn't be breeding dogs, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, AI, it stands for artificial insemination. Again, this is not for the breeders that's here already. This is not for the people that breed dogs. I want you breeders to share this to the people that you think want to breed dogs. AI stays, stands for artificial insemination. There's three types of artificial insemination because when we say AI as a breeder, we automatically assume that we're not natural tying, period. There's th three different types of AIs. You can do a vaginal insemination. Um, this is what most breeders call an call a AI. We take the two. We take the syringe, we collect the male, we take the syringe and put the semen in the, um, in the syringe, then we put the tube in the female, put it in her. That's a regular AI, that's what we call regular AI, or a vaginal insemination, same thing. A transcervical, also known as a TCI, is very similar to a regular AI. The biggest difference is that there's a camera on the end of the tube, and this, this allows the vet to go past the cervix and actually drop the semen in the uterus of your dog. Some vets do require you to have anesthesia, some don't, 
as I was reading, because I actually went out here and I did this research for you guys. This ain't something I'm just spitting at y'all. This is something that I've learned through experience. This is also something that I've researched and talked to vets about. Um, fact check me, feel me, drop it in the comments. I'm more than happy. Let me get some shout outs in real quick. What's good, my boy San uh, Antonio, man? We out there. March 24th, we're going to be out there at a UBN show in New Mexico. I can't wait to go there. I haven't been to a UBN show myself. My kennel partner, Matt, has been to one, and he said he had a great time, so I can't wait to get out there. What's popping, Luke? What's going on, Ricardo, man? Share this live. Share this live. This is information that any new breeder needs. Uh, AGB TV is always here to bring very informal information to you guys. We will get into more of a news broadcast. That's why I had my boy Dean up here dancing, because my boy Dean is West Indian, like I said. He should have been looking like Safari out there. Um, a TCI would cost you around $150 to $475. Again, this is money. This is why you don't want to play with this stuff. This is money. You know what I'm saying? Some, like I said, some vets re says that you need anesthesia. Some vets said that they don't require it. Again, I've done a TCI. I did a TCI. In fact, I did three. I think my female only, one of my females took off of a TCI. So this isn't, none of this is guaranteed, guys. You can do the blood work. You can do the TCI. You can do the surgical, transcervical. You can do any of these things and your dog still might not take. That is the thing about this dog breeding game. Uh, and now a surgical insemination is when the dog is fully sedated under anesthesia and they flip her over, cut her belly open, take out the uterus, and pop the puppies out. That's what they do. Well, no, not pop the puppies out. I'm sorry. Squirt the semen into the uterine horn. That's what a surgical AI is. They find the, uterine, the, um, the uterus, they take it out, and they squirt the semen directly into the uterus. I personally love surgical AIs. My favorite Hands down. A TCI, very similar to, an AI, to a surgical AI, but still at the same time very different. Um, semen still has to pass through the tube. They have to go through, uh, the tube has to go through the cervix into the uterus. Still chances for that semen to die. You take that uterus out of the female, you squirt it right from the syringe into the uterus. There's no way some of them semens is dying. They in there, you getting puppies. That's your best case scenario. Pay for it. Surgical can run you from anywhere from $250 to $600, depending on your location. I suggest you make good friends with your vet, because I was living in Louisiana. Shout out to Dr. Howell. If you're, from, if you're from Baton Rouge, Dr. Howell is one of the best vets out there. I loved him. That man woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning for me one time when I had a dog going into the emergency C-section and only charged me an extra $70. Much respect for that man. I did spend a lot of money with him. I'm not going to lie. I spent a lot of money with him. But he did everything he needed to do for me and my dogs to be uh, successful and for them to live and be healthy. So shout out to Dr. Howell. Uh, now, natural birth versus C-section. Whew. Y'all see, man, I told y'all, man, I be doing my homework. I really, I be out here doing my homework for y'all. Um, this is really, this really comes down to you as a person, um, how you value your time, uh, the things that you want to see happen. In a natural birth, you have long hours. The dog can be in labor 10, 12, 14, a whole day. I had a, I had a dog have puppies a whole day. I wound up, um, one of my dogs got pregnant, wound up at uh, Interstate's house, dogs being born there because I was trying to go get some oxytocin. I'm going to talk about oxytocin in a second, but natural birth for me I'm not, I can't do that with my dogs because of the long hours. My time is worth way more than the, what the C-section costs. So if your time is worth less than what the C-section costs, then that's on you because that's just long hours. You also, puppies can get stuck. If a puppy gets stuck, puppies behind them can die. The mother could die. Yes, mothers could die during a cesarean, during a C-section. Puppies could die also. But for me, I just feel that it's way, way more safer. Um, if you're a big believer in natural birth and um, you do want to have some type of aid in your house at the time, oxytocin is a great thing to have. Oxytocin is a hormone that causes stronger labor contractions. It helps the dog push and be able to last just a little bit longer to push, especially during big litters or if a dog's shoulders head's too big for it to come out the birthing canal. Now, cesarean, C-sections. Again, guys, 
I just told you about how I lost a bunch of dogs. I had a litter of 10. Five died. Uh, most of the vets was closed. This, this was happening really, really early in the morning. I wasn't home. I pulled up. Puppies there. Boom. Gave her some oxytocin. She still had some puppies the next day that lived. It's kind of ironic because some of the puppies she had natural died. And some of the ones that was behind the stuck one lived that were born a whole day later. But still, if I would have did, if I would have had it planned, did a C-section, puppies would have lived. Would have had 10 instead of 5. Now, I want to go back through this a little bit so you can get an idea on the experiences that, that I've had. Uh, I bred to King Gotti. I did a... I did six or seven progesterones at $95 each. I did a transcervical AI. That's with the camera on the end. And I would have done a C-section, but I did an x-ray at, I mean, I did an ultrasound at 35 days. That's was like, oh, probably can't see nothing right now. You never know, yada, yada, yada. That was just a way to get me back in there to do the x-ray to get me more money, get more money put in their pocket. So anyway, I went, and I left and I came back and I did the x-ray. Knowing she wasn't pregnant, she didn't get big, anything. Uh, nipples might have dropped a little bit, but again, I'm fresh. I'm talking about 2008, 2009. I'm fresh in it. This is my first breeding ever. I, I, I don't know what the dog is supposed to look like when they're pregnant. So uh, I go back, I do the x-ray, no puppies. So you about, that was when I bred the King Gotti. You about three grand in, you know, that's just breeding and everything. Then I bred to... I bred, I paid to breed to uh, Miyagi. I bred to Miyagi twice, no puppies. Uh, both times I did progesterone tests, both times. One time I did a transcervical, one time I did a surgical, still no puppies. Uh, again, I, I, I pretty much blame this all on the vet because I think that vets sometimes don't want people to have puppies. If they, you know, vets are human. You know, they're human just like me and you. So they have feelings, first impressions, um, prejudice, um, all types of things. Am I saying the, the vets are racist? No. Am I saying they hate men? No. Am I saying they hate breeders? No. But I don't know what it is, but some vets can be different with some people. So I suggest you go find your vet that's dope and that's going to actually teach you some of these things. Because learning the blood work is real important. I have to shout out Daniel again from Jaggerline. Because even me, even somebody that's